Members of the Board of Regents, President Bounds, Chancellor Christensen, fellow graduates, family, and friends, good morning and welcome to UNK. To begin, I would like to thank my family and friends who have helped me reach this stage in life. As a student at UNK, I have had the privilege to be challenged academically, become involved, and meet many great friends. I hope the next chapter in my life holds as many opportunities as my time at UNK has. There are many tricks I've learned in college. Working the, I just got up five minutes ago look, like some of you may be working today, discovering creative ways to eat ramen noodles, and finding effective methods to cram for a test are just a few. I'm sure at some point in studying, we've all created a mnemonic in hopes of retaining just a little bit more information. For those of you grads, who aren't quite sure what a mnemonic is, think back to your days with Roy G. Biv in The Colors of the Rainbow. Since you are all soon to be Loper alumni, I've decided to use the word Loper as a mnemonic to reflect upon my time at UNK and the lessons that I have learned. To begin, L is for luck. As the great Thomas Jefferson once said, I don't believe in luck. I believe in opportunity. It is not by mere chance we are here today in a cap and gown. Countless hours have been put in to get here. The hard work and number of opportunities you took advantage of are a product of the person you have become. You aren't just lucky to be sitting in the seat you are today. You've earned it. In the future, do not be afraid to seize opportunities that scare you. Try things you never thought you were capable of. O is for overwhelmed. I've tried many new things while at UNK one of which was joining the spring break rock climbing trip to Horseshoe Canyon Ranch. When I peered up the canyon walls we are going to be climbing that week, I was scared of how I was ever going to make it up, let alone terrified to rappel back down. That overwhelming feeling was repeated numerous times throughout that trip and throughout my college career. I'm sure we are all familiar with what the feeling of overwhelm feels like, but remember to be confident. I know you've overcome several obstacles to get to the seat you are today. Remember how those successes felt when you are overwhelmed. I can tell you, climbing to reach the top view of the Horseshoe Canyon was very overwhelming, but it sure was worth it to look back and see for miles beyond the rim. P is for play. Life is too short. Smile while you still have teeth. I saw this sign in one of the academic buildings while I was studying abroad in the Czech Republic. I actually took a picture of it because I thought it was an important part of the many life lessons I learned during this experience. I hope you all have a collection of fun memories and people to look back on. In the future, remember the importance of continuing to enjoy life. I think a big part of that is surrounding yourself with others that can make you smile. With that being said, I would like to give a quick shout out to my family and friends that are all here today. Thanks for always making life fun and thank you for being here. Next, E is for excitement. It seems at UNK, I have always had something to be excited about. For many, excitement is described by the feeling of taking your last final of the semester or looking forward to big events like the lip sync competition. Today, I am excited to be graduating and seeing what the next stage in life has in store. You may be like me and unsure where that next big step will take you, but be excited for the journey. Lastly, R is for remember. Preparing this speech allowed me to reflect upon the many great opportunities and memories I've had at UNK. It also reminded me to remember how I got here. As you continue on and find success in life, remember to give back to those people and programs that guided you to become who you are today. Do not forget to thank the people in your life who helped you get here. A handwritten thank you note can really go a long way. There are many UNK faculty and staff members here today to whom I still owe a thank you note to. Not to get myself out of some handwritten notes, but thank you for all of you who have encouraged me and pushed me to work hard. In closing, today is a testimony that your hard work has paid off. I hope you've enjoyed your time here as much as I have, and you feel UNK has prepared you for the new opportunities and challenges that life will bring. So today, I leave you with Loper. Luck, overwhelmed, play, excited, and remember. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments, and good luck to you all in the future.
Thank you.